Now I would like to introduce Director General Stephen Tai from the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Atlanta, who is the official representative from Republic of China on Taiwan. Director General Stephen Tai will give us a brief greeting. President uh, Jimmy Ho, uh, distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good evening. Uh, on behalf of the uh, Public Economic and Culture Office in Atlanta, uh, it is a uh, great honor and privilege to be here to attend uh, Chinese Community Center's uh, 34th Annual Banquet uh, in celebrations of Chinese Lunar New Year. Uh, over the years, the CCC has not only uh, enriched Chinese culture, but also give it back to the local community. I'd like to commend uh, Jimmy Ho, uh, President of the CCC, whose leadership has met CCC and has deemed group in our region. Jimmy's spirit of inclusiveness and involvement with the mainstream community and contributed to greater understanding uh, understanding of Taiwan and its Chinese culture. He brings the bridge cultural gaps. I think this is very important to let a uh, mention community to know uh, Taiwan and Chinese culture. So this is very important. The next banquet uh, wouldn't be possible. This effort and the teamwork of the board members I'd like to invite you, uh, please give them a round of applause. Thank you. The US and Taiwan has always enjoyed a close economic relationship. The turnover of trade in 2012 reached about 63 billion US dollars, and Taiwan ranks as the 11th largest trading partner of the US over 190 countries. Uh, we are convinced that the signings of BIA and FTA will enhance future relations between the US and Taiwan. US support for Taiwan's inclusion in the TPP will further build up our economic relations. Since Taiwan joined the US visa waiver program in November 2012, Taiwanese tourists and business travelers can visit the U.S. for up to 90 days without a visa. This is a great benefit that facilitates easy travel between Taiwan and the U.S. As some of you know, uh, the functions of the Taipei Economic Cultural Office in Rwanda uh, is to uh, strengthen trade and investment between the six southeastern states and Taiwan. Uh, if my office can be of service to you in any way uh, in the future, uh, please do not hesitate uh, to let me know. Uh, in closing, uh, I thank you uh, for your support over the years, and I wish you all, uh, the distinguished guests, uh, all the best, uh, prosperity, uh, and uh, good health in the ears of the host. Thank you so much, thank you. General Tai, and we're going to uh, have you stay for a photograph for a minute. Um, next, I would like to uh, to ask uh, Georgia Commission of Equal Opportunity Executive Director Melvin Everson to come up and deliver greetings from our Governor Nathan Deal. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. To President Jimmy Hall, distinguished guests, everyone that's here tonight, to stand here on behalf of Governor Nathan Hill, and my work for the point of honor, to bring greetings on behalf of the state of Georgia, the Office of the Governor, to Mr. Jimmy Hall, and those celebrating the 2014 Lunar New Year. Greetings. I am pleased to extend my warmest 
regards to the attendees of the 2014 Lunar New Year celebration as you commemorate the Year of the Horse. On behalf of the state of Georgia and its citizens, it is a pleasure to be a part of this cultural celebration. The Lunar New Year is a time to celebrate rejuvenation and the beginning of a new season full of noble responsibility. It is also a time for unique opportunities and strength and resolve to build a better future together. Georgia benefits from a vibrant Asian American community, and I thank you for your commitment to building stronger communities and national relationships. You have advanced the social, political, and economic aspect of our great state of Georgia. Sandra and I send our best wishes as you celebrate the blessings of life and we wish you health and happiness in the years ahead. Sincerely, Nathan Deal, Governor of the great state of Georgia. Happy New Year, the Year of the Horse. like to call Congressman Dr. Paul Broome, who will give us a short reading as well. Some of the most pleasant memory, memories of anything I've ever done throughout my career. Working with the Chinese government in Beijing, working with the Xinjiang government, Gulamuchi, Yurumshi, how do you all pronounce that? And what I found is a beautiful people with a very deep and rich culture. I never had the opportunity when I was in mainland China to celebrate the Lunar New Year. And when my good friend Jimmy Ho called and asked me to be here today to greet y'all, I very enthusiastically said, yes, I'd be glad to be there. Because this represents a lot of the beauty, the richness, the fantastic culture of the Chinese people. So I'm honored to be here. Thank you, my friend Jimmy Ho, for inviting me to be here. And I love the, the philosophy about preparing for this New Year celebration, where you clean your home from top to bottom. You get out of debt. I wish the federal government would follow your lead. It's an example of a very special people. They're very special to me. And I want to wish you all a very happy New Year, the Year of the Horse. Shechene. Next, I'd like to call upon Georgia's Attorney General Sam Owens to make a few remarks. <laughs> Thank you. 
Georgia's Republican Party Chairman, Don Padgett, who will say a few words. Thank you. 